kept in here and then I got some extra wire if I need it and then I also printed out a diagram get off of eBay and it looked like I didn't have to wire these to the kit it looks like they just give you a generic wiring kit and then give you these fog light adapters and they're just like oh that's the whole kit oh and we got her to work man I just test fitted everything see I connected them to the batteries there <laughs> I could just easily just tap tug on this a little bit and just all fall apart but anyways I got it over here put that there ignition and then I grounded that right there so I don't know if these are the best places to do it but I figured you know it worked just for a test and as you can see this is how these lights work you can get this kit for 10 bucks and then you can probably buy those little adapters for probably I don't even know under five bucks I thought the kit was gonna be everything wired together I'm not gonna have to splice or anything it would have been cheaper to do that because I actually paid I think 25 bucks and just for them to bundle it together with a zip tie or whatever they use. Without further ado, let's try this out. It should be red unless it moved here. I'm gonna have to, there we go. All right, you see the red LED in there? This might be too, oh, what? It might be kind of hard to see. There we go, see, works. And that clicking noise is that loud relay over here. Pipe down, why don't you? Since they didn't give me the adapter at the ends of these, which I should have, but they didn't give me it, I'm gonna have to probably just feed the bare wire through there and crush these, crush it together. See, so even the color of the wires aren't the same. Anyways, I got some fog lights right here. I'm gonna do the big reveal whenever I get them in. Or oh, they're definitely not normal, I can tell you that. So the one end goes into here, which I think it might be that. For that and then the other end goes into that so I'm gonna plug that in there plug these into the light and then we'll test but for right now I'm just going to feed these in there in a certain ways make sure they're just touching and then that should be good to test out the light that should be good so one of the things you guys probably don't know about me is that when I was five to ten years old I always like to mess with electrical units and wire random stuff together and make sure it works. I'd also shocked myself a lot. That probably explains a lot of things. All right, so let's try to get this to work. Without further ado, let's try it out. There we go, she works, but what the hell? I swear I ordered LEDs in those, so I'm gonna have to order LED fog lights, headlights, high beams, and the uh, turn signal lights. But yeah, I thought that, I, I could have sworn there were gonna be LEDs in those. I could have sworn I looked at it and I saw they were, but I guess not. Oh well, at least they work, right? And they're Spider brand. I know a lot of people talk about these online, about their, at least their custom headlights. So these are just, just the fog lights. I don't know what the brand of these are. I think it's Moto something. No, I can't really remember, but they do look amazing. So anyways, let's, uh, let's properly wire this a little bit better. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go through the firewall today, but I'm glad that this worked and I might just keep the switch in here for now. But of course, a more permanent strategy would be to get a button in there. It's the real the real thing that I'm thinking about and why I probably won't go through the firewall today is because I'm thinking about actually getting the the OEM fog light button itself. That way it keeps the interior a bit cleaner, even though you're not even going to see it. But where it would go is that it'd be right here. And I think you can press down here or press this whole thing in general and it would it would flash the fogs. But as you can see, this truck never came with fog lights, so it doesn't have that feature, unfortunately. It's actually the first wiring job I've ever done, but, I mean, it works, so let's do this. Oh, I didn't know they used Chevy as a, an abbreviation in the manufacturing. I always thought it was just aftermarkets and some dealerships. It says Chevy right there. And that is there under the grill. It's not part of the grill. It's actually part of the regular trucks. It's not like it's some aftermarket thing. So... We got it all wired up. Didn't have to crush these just in case I ever do get the connections for that. I just kind of tied them in there around the connector and then I put this housing up which really gives it a good tight seal in there. Got that tightened up. I haven't zip tied anything because I want to wire it all first and make sure it's all working great. Then we got this over here. I don't know where I'm going to tie that. Probably down in there or something. Not sure but I got that on the battery so everything's on the battery so it does look a little messy right now but I'm gonna clean it up after I make sure that it works 100% so I was able to wire all the way down to the fog lights and the best way I could do it or at least the best way I did it is I tried to get as close as to where the headlight wires go 
so that way I have a reference. So if you look down here, it comes down right here, and then I got one over there. So what I'm gonna do now is install the housing into the end caps. I'm gonna be careful there not to scratch them. And then I'm gonna wire them to here. And then I'm gonna obviously connect those to the wires hanging down. I'm gonna do one full test, and then I'm gonna get those wires out of the way, but everything's running smooth. Before we do that, I'm gonna just clean these up a little bit from the big trip. So I tried to go directly from here into the light, but that does not work. You have to use the adapter, so I have to get that put into there. Look at that smoked housing. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to switch to LEDs down the road. Of course, it's gonna look a lot better. Plus the smoke really does take the light away from how bright an LED is. So this just makes it way too dark for these. I, I didn't even think my headlights were working when I was driving home, to be honest. It's just that they're not LED, so the smoke really really does dull it down so we got smoked headlights up there and then I got smoked fog lights as well so look at that man let's put it in all right so I'm gonna get that out of the way since it was aftermarket I actually had to groove out the hole a little bit more with the knife but we got it in still have the protective on it so what I'm gonna do is tie these wires together just to make sure they work and then I'll remove that final final piece of plastic. That should do it. Now let me just test this one. There we got that. Uh, there it is. And there we go. You got it squared away. Both of them are working on each side perfect so what I'm gonna do is tuck these wires down there away obviously get something to cover them and then I'm gonna fix up this wiring up here because it's kind of looks kind of shady all right guys I think we got it taken care of now cleaned it up in the engine bay a little bit better I didn't even really tie anything down I kind of just tucked everything away the only real wire you can see is that white one going across there but what are you gonna do? It's only one wire, so. so. Yeah, I didn't run through the firewall yet, but I mean, this will work for now. I just basically wanted to get the lights in there so they weren't just some empty holes. So I got this back here. There we go, and now we should see it one more time. There's that. Real nice, man. And then we got this one over here. Oh, and I didn't take that clear lens off. The plastic protection. Boys, I'm taking my wrap off. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we go. Oh. This is a cringy moment, man. Can't mess this up. There we go. Perfect. Fog lights, high beams, and headlights. So check that out. It's looking pretty good. I definitely do want to get some LED bulbs in there. So let me know uh, what brand I should go with. I went with aux beam on the RAM over there, and it's been been running great over there. I don't think I need a canvas system for these. I think it's plug and play. I just plug the bulbs in and they're good. But let me know if that's a that's not the case. 